Ah, Red Guardian. I was actually really looking forward to this card. Uh, enough so that I actually started digging into the lore of Red Guardian, doing some comic book reading. Because, I mean, his name's Red Guardian, so I figured maybe he was from Asgard. Maybe he was Asgardian. And it turns out he's not from Asgard. He's from Midgard. And that makes sense because he's mid. All joking aside, he's the perfect release. He's extremely not required if you don't want him. If you already have Lady Deathstrike and High Evo and you don't want to roll caches, you don't have to because he's good. And if you roll him incidentally by trying to go after High Evo, then you're not upset because the card is good. However, it's not great. And I don't feel like it's like necessary. It's not like a build around card the way like a Hope Summers is or even a Red Hulk is to some degree where Red Hulk's being added to pretty much everything and the win rate just goes up. Um, Red Guardian's not that. He's a good tech card. He's a good three cost. He's just good. He is the prototypical baseline for three star releases. He's not bad. He's good. And so if you get him, he's absolutely okay. You don't need to be upset about it, but you're not necessarily doing massive build rounds around him, okay? Especially with the change to Zabu, his primary target has been kind of changed to like, I don't know, Ravona, Nebula, Sunspots, and others, right? Uh, I was not able to effectively hit Deadpools in my experiments uh, thus far, but overall, hey, that's a possibility too. I did like him though. I did like him, he was totally fine. And that's okay. It's okay to have a fine release, right? So let's talk about some of the decks we were playing with uh, and uh, finding some success with. Now, right off the top here, I do like the idea of playing him with Silver Surfer. He's a three cost card. And this Silver Surfer deck was one that I like. It's nothing fancy, but it was traditionally just a very good steady performer. Red Hulk's release has kind of given it a bit of an issue because before it just had to try to compete with like Blob and that was hard enough. Now Red Hulk is so huge that it can be a little hard to deal with. And I've been working on some new decks that are trying to use like Goose and stuff like that, but not quite ready for prime time yet. But this one here is just fine. It's totally fine. And Red Guardian is taking in the place of a card like uh like rogue for instance rogue was often being used as a tech piece here and red guardian has a much more stable baseline than rogue does rogue sometimes was just like well this is kind of useless i'll just throw it out for the two power i guess but with red guardian you're always at least hitting something for the most part you're at least being somewhat disruptive so it's a much more natural inclusion totally fine card i liked it here it worked i might even keep it here over rogue and then we go to red evo this was like a high evolutionary deck using the red hulk and this was okay uh this was trying to do the thing with like scorpion and to you know maybe getting the abomination out cheap and you know giving you options with red hulk hulk and she hulk again it was totally fine there's nothing crazy about this deck it was basically just a high evo shell that used the red garden to summon effectiveness and there's nothing wrong with that right and then we tried something fancier where we tried to do like a moon girl type thing i actually like this one a lot but i'll tell you the silver surfer cube rate was higher but this was okay uh, we were originally using misty knight but wasp gives you an additional opportunity when replicated with moon girl to do like an extra hit uh, for the abomination being inexpensive helps you dump your hand so that you can uh, draw a little more effectively but most importantly it's just a good card it's just a good card that does good work in the overall archetype that you're trying to do here replicate the abomination or she hulk skip turns and slam down a whole bunch of surprise power if you pull red garden and you really want to give him a shot play this it's totally fine just be wary of uh, the red hulk maybe consider like taking out a koye adding someone like a uh, like a goose maybe or you know whatever you want that might be coping a bit but anyways so my first impressions on red guardian are overall positive i think that this is an absolutely fine card it's good enough to include in your deck it's good enough to uh you know pull a spotlight cash on if you don't have them and if you're missing others if you want to skip them absolutely okay as well uh, i would lean actually i should mention this if you're short on resources and you only have like three or four keys or something like that i would prefer that you probably skip red guardian and attack white widow i think white widow will have a wider general appeal than red guardian is but the card's totally fine right i'm just saying if you're kind of scarce on resources i lean towards white widow being better than red guardian but again that's just my opinion thanks so much for watching guys we've got some gameplay highlights here that i think are going to be a lot of fun they kind of really do showcase the card and its capabilities and i hope to catch you on stream as well where we have a ton of fun testing cards and brewing decks all right forge what a road Forge has been on, eh? 2 1, 1 1, whatever the hell else it is now. Do we just Nakia or no? Nah. I really like the idea of, of Cope Summers here, but Nakia is just sensual as hell with Sebastian Shaw. It's pretty sensual here. I like this play. And then you play Nakia again? Oh my god. Do we have to? Oh, man. I think we play Sarah on Onslaught Citadel here. We have to. We have no choice. 
We Sarah Onslaught said, uh, Salty McShivers. What a great name. Oh my god. What have they done? Some guy just <gasps> subscribed. Oh, some guy with a subscription. Well, let's go. Hi from Mexico. Please say hi to your international fans. Hello, international fans. Here's the play. Hope Summers. Red Guardian. Nikia Absorbing Man. Massive Pumps. Let's go. Late Snap. Get wrecked, Sarah. That's like the late insult snap. Where I knew I had a great play in the start, but I wanted to hurt your feelings in the middle of the play to do it. Do they Red Guardian me back, though? Nope! Emotional damage, baby! That's why you snap during the turn. Because it's just, it's too much damage. It's too much emotional damage. Because, like, it is such an arrogant snap. I'm so lucky I get to do this, guys. I... I, don't know. I love you guys. I just I can't believe I'm I'm this lucky. All right, we got some sunspot gameplay here. Oh, Castle Blackstone gamers love Castle Blackstone. Man, if I play sunspot, they're gonna play here for sure, right? What? Oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, we have to put Sebastian Shaw there right now. Because he, he loves it. He loves it. Oh, we got some Cyclops gameplay, do we? Uh, abs man? It's gross. Me, no likey. But look at this. Red Guardian. Giving Cyclops the how do you do here. Give him a good old little pump. Whoa, War Machine. Ah, oh, they played their four energy, though. But look, now we get extra energy as well. Look at this. Look at this Red Guardian gameplay, guys. All right, we play Sarah. I don't think we ever win this. They always play here. So I think we uh, we go Sarah here. We get the extra one plus one. They always play mid. We don't need it. Because Absman's already down, getting spanked. Please don't hit Cyclops, Misty Knight. Thank you. All right. Terrible. Terrible. Absolute just garbage. So bad. So bad, so sad. You know what, though? Still winnable. Still winnable. You brood here. Do they always play something here? Do we give here? This is only 10 power. We do this. We do this. Shaw's just going to run up. I think we send it. Let's see if Red Guardian did us proud here. Uh, they doomers. Man, I didn't actually expect Doom, to be honest with you. Uh, I think we win with Sebastian Shaw, by the way. That Sunspot in great position behind the, uh, the armor. But Sebastian Shaw should. Oh. Oh. And we win tiebreaker? That is such a tight game. Such a tight game. That Doombot was uh was pretty good. I like it. That was a cool game. I like that one. See, look at this. Red Guardian gameplay is going to be worth it. You guys are in chat getting all sad. Meanwhile, look what just happened. We have Red Guardian synergy. And yes, Skillmonger technically deals with it too. But you know what? I'm not worried about that. Because they just took my Skillmonger. And they snap on my Nova, maybe. <laughs> Watch this right... Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. I mean, we... This is sad. It's actually really sad. I was so excited to play Red Guardian on top of the, uh, the Quinjet. And then what we get is these stupid Savage Lands... Which make it so that my Red Guardian hits a Raptor. Which is, I guess, fine. This is dumb. I want to hold him. Do I hold him?
I mean, he ties that location, Surfer. That's probably fine to do this. We could have maybe hit something here. Oh, it's Cosmo, is it? He thinks I'm playing a destroy deck. <laughs> See, they didn't expect Red Guardian. <laughs> I am an elite gamer doing elite gamer things. No one can stop me. And that's a three cost. We play, we play uh, Cope Summers here. We play Sarah here. We could just play Sarah there. Nah, we just win there anyway, probably. Oh my god. They stole my Nakia. How dare you steal my Nakia. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, this allows us to play Absorbing Man, by the way. This is why you play Sarah with Hope Summers. So you get the extra energy for the four cost. Abs, man. And they Loki us, but they have a Cosmo location, so Loki is kind of hard to hit. Sebastian Shaw. Oh. 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 We don't even need to play there. It's a good win. I mean, it's not a good win. It's whatever. Red Guardian. Hitting that Raptor as hard as he could. <laughs> oh, got some Savage Land gameplay. Uh, we, we could remove the text on the, the Raptor. But knowing our luck, they're like Annihilus gamers. It's always Dr. Octopus, eh? Great portals should just be Doc Ock. <laughs> it just gives you Doc Ock every time without failure. Oh, classic mill gameplay. Such an annoying deck. Okay, we got we got Cope Summers. We will have initiative, maybe. Oh, it's a flip. Oh my god, just just so unlucky, man. We could have had initiative, turned off their, their Cope Summers. But instead they get all this extra energy. Disgusting, man. But at least we negative uh, the Kitty Pride. And it does not bounce back. Um, what we're going to do here, I think, is... Do we just play Sarah or do we just go risky with the Doc Ock? We have Silver Surfer. We got... Oh, man. We get so much more by doing this. But we kind of throw this location, don't we? Hmm. I don't want to throw the location. We just need an extra energy for the abs, man. We do this. We do this. Throw Shaw there, maybe? Where the hell did they get this from? Wow, they're Loki, Loki gaming, are they? All right, Shaw here. We're just short. It's because we want it. We want a Skillmonger, but maybe maybe we let them play Skillmonger if they have it, right? Because it really it's gonna take out the Kitty Pride. So we maybe we Sebastian Shaw, Silver Surfer. No, Silver Surfer Abs Man. This is kind of short, isn't it? I don't know if we ever win this game. We should retreat. We should get the hell out of here. We're going to send it, but I think we lose. I'm expecting them to play uh, Skillmonger for us. Okay, it's not bad. We're just short. Wait, wait. Skill, it has to be Skillmonger. Come on. Oh! Just barely lost. Damn it, Loki. Red Guardian's been okay. Now, I think this shell's a little greedier, so I wonder about it. 
I wonder about it. We're trying to do like a debuff Evo style deck. Um, and the, the Red Hulk here showing his, uh, his colors. We like drawing cards, don't we? Why wouldn't we want to draw cards? Let's do it. And also, this is going to be a magnet for some Cyclops gameplay, which is nice. Could roll this turn going to She-Hulk, but that's weird. I think you go Cope Summers into play the Cyclops. Also, Red Guardian would have smoked this Zebu. Oh my god, is it a is it a mirror match? Are we actually mirror matching here? Disgusting. Okay, this is chonky abomination. Alright. I, I might just slam the Hulk down, honestly. Hmm. But floating is so sensual. It's so sensual. Man, if only we could have played like we need we need like a sunspot to throw in a warm mirror or something. Or armor, obviously. I think they have armor. They must have armor. They have a play in the Vormir. Got some float gameplay. I don't think we do this. I think they're expecting us to play here, right? They're snap. How can she snap? Are they snapping because they shongers here plus throw armor there or something? There's too many lines for me to lose, but I don't want to retreat yet. I know they don't need to throw armor down. I have to do both. I'm, I'm going to send it just out of sheer curiosity. Can they beat my A-bomb a right with six energy? No. Get wrecked for four. Let's go. The ultimate usage of Red Guardian. Red Guardian taking one for the team. So Abomination can steal four cubes. You'll love to see it.